Hi friends. So I am <laughs> a day away from the So Yellow for Endo challenge and been working on the circle skirt, but I wanted to pop in and see if I could actually make my dress before tomorrow's deadline. That is a big ask for sure. I have something this evening, but let's see. So as I had mentioned, I have this awesome king size duvet cover that I thrifted some time ago. It is ginormous, okay? And I don't know if I've ever actually had this much fabric of like one fabric, possibly, possibly, but to have it in this large king size format is quite awesome. One of the things that you might note is that there is a seam line going right through the center. Someone might have actually created this duvet cover themselves, to be honest, um, because even the zipper looks like it could have been a bit uh, handmade. But that being said, I think one of the things that I wanna do is to create a dress that's going to have a double circle skirt just because I don't know that I've had access to this much fabric in a while that I would feel comfortable kind of using the whole thing to make a garment. And I think this would be the most fluttery and flowiest dress if I could do a really big and dramatic double circle skirt, which I've never done. I don't even think I've done a full circle skirt yet, but I'm just jumping right over that into double circle skirt land. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So my thought right now is to use S8875. I've been wanting to do a hack of this for some time where I use the bodice and then kind of cut across at the waistline so that I have that definition at the waist and can put any skirt at the bottom of it. So that is my hope and my intention. So I've sketched it out. I'm gonna go and find a skirt calculator so that I can make sure I have the measurements right for how I need to cut the waistline. Like square out the fabric would be the best thing to do to begin because I want to be able to kind of cut the circle directly out of this, um, like a full circle laid out. But because the fabric is already doubled because it's a duvet, I think what I would need to do is square it out. Really excited about this. I'm going to try my best to make sure that the seam lines are hidden in some way, that they're not as prominent, but um, I don't know if I have any other ways around that, unfortunately. So we'll see. All right, after cutting out the double circle skirt, I'm left with these two undergarment shaped pieces. And the first thing that I wanted to lay out was the sleeve that is going to be my largest and longest sort of pattern piece. So it's really nice that it will fit right here. I think I'm going to extend it as much as I can just to ensure that I like the length of it because I know I'm going to be putting the elastic cuffing there. I'm able to get the back out of this other remnant piece as well. I really wanted to make sure that I could keep the pattern going vertically up and down. Um, so that's really nice that it fits. So I am only going to be using the skirt pieces up until the waistline, and I'm going to ensure that I add five eighths of an inch seam allowance. So I'm going to be doing that here as well at the waistline. So I'll fold that and ensure that I get what I need from it. And that will be able to give me that piece. I am going to fully line the bodice of this. So I'll find another fabric from my stash that I will go ahead and use as the lining. And I'm really excited to do that. I'm gonna smooth these out as best as I can. I don't think I'm gonna take it to my, should I just iron them? Okay, I'm gonna go iron them flat and then come back. Because I'm fully, lining it i did the lining first because i knew i would if i made the yellow portion of it and had the lining still to do i'd be over it so i started with that one i was also able to kind of check for fit and stuff i ended up going with a half circle skirt for the lining um no for a full circle skirt right yeah a full circle skirt for the lining and my actual, the yellow portion, the right side of the dress is going to be a double circle skirt. I also hurt my finger, my sewing machine. That hurt. <laughs> I haven't actually had like too many 
got a knock on wood or something. I haven't had too many um, sewing machine accidents, like with the needle stabbing me, but I got overzealous with operating the like knee lift and my finger was under it. I was trying to move some things around and it stuck me stuck me I wasn't I wasn't quick enough <laughs> all right so I have one half of the bodice in and I do the other half the way that the double circle skirt panned out as far as how everything sort of nestled together I was able to get the center back seam oh boy the center back seam um to align with one of the seams that was already in the duvet. So then I just seam ripped that overlock stitch so that I can put the zipper in the center back. On the lining, it really seems like the hack that I did to 8875, is that what I'm using? To 8875 worked. You can see this is the waist seam here, which, I just made um, a waist seam from right there at the waistline and added my five eighths of an inch seam allowance, but that's going to be awesome. So I get the bodice top that I love so much and I get to attach it to any type of skirt. I can do a gathered skirt. I can do a circle skirt. I can do a double circle skirt like I'm doing today. And that just gives me so much more versatility um, in this pattern. I hope you all are having a lovely day and enjoy this sort of like vlog sew with me style of video i hope you're enjoying that i think i finally eased everything in to this that skirt is magnificent there's so much of it <laughs> every time i try to lift it i'm like whoa get it together so i'm gonna go ahead and stitch that baste it in place make sure i like it and then do a real stitch wish me luck so i have to stop but currently this is where we are i have the double circle skirt looking so so amazing um the cotton definitely like sticks on itself a little bit so i am happy i did not put in the pockets i think that would have just been um annoying i have this awesome seam here so i might go ahead and put in some buttons and treat it like a faux button placket sort of thing. I am seeing a bit of color variation between the skirt and this. It's almost as if maybe I used the wrong side, but I, I'm sure I didn't, but anywho. I think I will have to put some sort of stitching just to make sure that the lining does not come up. I did under stitch it, but I am a little bit nervous. So I can sort of treat it like a decorative touch, but I just pinned it in place for now. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to put the zipper like and sandwich it in between both like that and make it super beautiful or if I'm gonna treat this like one item, interface it and then sort of just do like that. I don't know yet how I wanna insert the zipper so I decided here is a good place to stop. It's Saturday morning and we're back to see if i can get this yellow dress done i pulled out all of my zippers i have quite the collection many of which have been thrifted in the past but it's been really remarkable because i haven't had to buy zippers in a long time but unfortunately i don't have a yellow zipper long enough the only thing that i found that was kind of decent is this natural color one um so more like uh, is it leaning towards ecru or is this one and i think it's works because of the design in here and if i sandwiched it in between that could be fine i'm going to go ahead and begin by putting a strip of interfacing right down the center back on both sides to make sure that it's prepared and ready for the zipper install all right, so I have my interfacing fused on. I used my woven interfacing. And the fabric that I used for the lining, if I haven't already mentioned, I had thrifted this fabric a while ago. And as you can see, it has this sort of satin finish on one side, but then on the reverse, it's sort of like a cotton. Is there such thing as like a cotton backed satin? I've never seen a fabric like this, to be honest. I've heard of crepe back satins, but this was like, wow. 
Anyways, I thrifted it and it came with maybe like five yards and I decided to use this because I knew I wanted um, to have the circle skirt as well as line the whole thing and I wanted something that would be a bit slippery. So I actually did it so that the cotton side will be against my body and that the satiny side will actually be on the cotton fabric as the lining so that it, there wouldn't be as much friction between the two and it wouldn't catch, especially with how full the skirt is. I haven't used a regular zipper in a long time. I've been using a lot of invisible zippers now that I think about it. So I've been sitting here trying to work out some mental gymnastics of how this is supposed to look. So I think I need to do it like that, right? Um, now seems like a good a time as any to pull out my wash away wonder tape. I just recently thrifted this in a thrift haul that hopefully you'll be seeing shortly, but I think now is a good time to use it. I this wonder tape is wonderful. It is a game changer. Look at how that matched up. I went ahead and did the lining first, attaching that. I did not sew it super close to the teeth just because I wanted to make sure with the basting stitches it made sense and that it fits. <laughs> so I'm gonna check that first um, after I attach the, like the proper side of the fabric. But I went ahead and made my markings so that I knew exactly where to match up and line up the waist seams. This wonder tape is incredible. So let me go ahead and attach the other side and see how we get on. I did the unthinkable. I did the thing that I was afraid of doing. Look, I put in the zipper backwards. No. <laughs> So I finally put in the zipper in the back. I definitely prefer an invisible zipper, but short of having that on hand, I don't think it's bad. I think the fit is quite nice. Um, adding that waist seam seems like it worked out quite well. Having the seam in the front does make me feel like I would put some buttons and just pretend that there's a full button placket. The skirt is so full. Enjoy the fuzzy socks, why don't you? But look at how full this double skirt is. I love it. We're almost there. I have the sleeves on. They are puffed at the shoulder. They have been elasticated at the cuff. And now it's time, my friends, to hem. I'm going with the three thread narrow rolled hem on the serger. Um, I did something really strange when I was cutting out this pattern, I will admit. I was short on fabric with wise, and then I decided, you know what's going to be fine? I'm just going to lengthen it at the parts that I can. So now I have this like one inch variation throughout. And because it's a double skirt, it happens repeatedly throughout the pattern, uh, throughout the skirt, which I didn't expect. <laughs> so I'm going to try my best to eyeball this as I cut off just a smidge here and there. Hopefully not in the areas that don't need a smidge here and there taken off. But by golly, we are going to get this dress finished. So I finished the dress. I have the petticoat under it right now to give it some floof and I came outside I'm gonna see if I can get some photos of myself so I have the tripod here and we shall just see this is a very beautiful tree I don't want to look awkward taking photos of myself but we're gonna do it so I can post it quickly onto Instagram I haven't been on my Instagram in a bajillion months we don't even but I will do it for this challenge and for the many challenges that are to come I guess I'm gonna have to get back on Instagram at some point won't I? And then I'm going to show you guys the making of this dress. I'm so excited about it. I wore it with my Black House White, White House Black Market top. Let's see if the photos come out nice. <laughs> we made the dress. So now my mission is to, while I'm out here, remove my petticoat without seeing really ridiculous. So I can take some pictures of the dress just on its own. I hope the neighbors don't get nervous, okay?
so we did it. Um, I'm gonna head back home now. I think I got some decent shots. I'm gonna try and post them to Instagram right now. And yeah, we'll see what happens. But it was really nice to have that motivation to finish the dress today. So let's see how that goes. Bye-bye.